Hello there everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 with the Red World Fan Fork Mod. So, as you can see right now, Mexico is looking a little uh, aggressive towards us, and that's because we went to war with them. Uh, focus right now that we're doing is fighter focus. Honestly, I, I think I've been just doing a lot of stuff on the right side here. These don't even have descriptions, bomber focus, drone focus, renew doctrine. None of these have descriptions yet, which is totally okay, but... I just got a war with Mexico, but haven't done anything else. Let's see, zero casualties, zero casualties, so it's literally at the beginning. We only have 79 divisions, they have way more than us, but we're on defense, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully we do okay. That turned to green, turning to green. Mexico's got a massive military, of course, for 2017. What else do you expect? A million to 30 million manpower, pretty good for them. Let's get some more passive defense. Ooh, that's not good. Uh... Navally, we have two submarines, as you saw over there. Uh, maybe you saw that, maybe you didn't. Navally, we'll, we have supremacy, basically. We will have absolute naval supremacy. Airplane-wise, Air Force-wise, not bad, not bad. Rocky Mountains, looking okay, looking okay over there. Texas is a massive battlefield right now, as you can tell. And what are you guys doing? Not much, huh? Cool, hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, so we're just going to sit here for a little bit as a... Already lost over a million, a quarter million of manpower. Jesus Christ, Mexico, what the heck. Oh, look at this. Uh, future automated management, nice, love it. Let's grab some re more resource efficiency gain. No, let's grab some more construction tools. Or oh, reading convoys down here as well. Love it, you know, you, if you know me, you know I love the naval stuff. Uh, regardless, what else do we have up here? And a couple comments to go through as well. Oh, I didn't want to do this too. I didn't want to do this off screen without you guys watching, so it would make no sense if I did this by myself, but reunite America. In which we lose the American isolation national spirit right here. So, the American question, almost every state of the former United States is in our hands, and there is a growing movement both within and without and outside the government, supporting an official restoration of the USA. Has the time come to finally reunite this land once for all? Of course. The free states of America will become known as the US of A. Of course, but we must keep our name and flag. Uh, sure, why not? Congress of Corporations Unite America? You bet they do. Atlas shrugs and the world trembles. Nice. Oh, demand southern. Oh! We can demand southern lands, demand Alaska, demand Hawaii. Oh, I didn't realize we could have that. Maybe I didn't have to go to war with Mexico. But I was going to go to war with them regardless. Anyways, so. Doesn't really matter to me. Uh, they've lost over half a million. We've lost about 12,000 guys. Not bad, not bad. Mexico, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, not bad. Really not bad at all. Couple comments up. Someone says we should liberate the world from communism. I don't know about all communism, but my main goal is to take out Russia. That's my main goal. The American capital, though. After reuniting the all breakaway nations of the U former U.S., our government must finally decide where the new capital will be located. A range of options have been proposed, and it is your duty to sort through them to make a swift decision. North, east, southwest, central. Um, well, I, I want to keep the south. I like Washington. We did technically have Washington, D.C. with us the entire time. Oh, look at sub. There you go. Thank you. Let's go with the. I don't know. I don't like these options. I want. I want specific names like North. Like what part of the North? Like Minnesota. That's pretty North of, in America. Or what about East? Is that like Raleigh, North Carolina, which I think is awesome. South. You mean like Albuquerque, maybe? Or West? It could be like San Francisco, like L.A. Or Central. What do you mean like Kansas or something? So let's go with the South. Hopefully we keep. Oh, okay, so we actually get choices. Okay, that's cool. Atlanta, Miami, New Orleans, Dallas, Houston. Well, let's go back with maybe the East? Uh, Washington, District of Columbia. Why do we lose political power there? Uh, I guess that makes sense why we don't get, keep political power. Actually, before we do that, let's go and do... I want to man Alaska. Uh, Hawaii. I want Hawaii back. Uh, I want to do Washington, D.C. Um, huh, do we really want D.C.? We're technically we... We are in the USA already. It only makes sense. We've already gone down this far. We'll do Washington, D.C. So We need that political power anyways, right? We don't need it. Cool. And you guys, head on over here because we have two carriers in this group. we got quite a few carriers, which I do like. Nice. Cool. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, the PRC is fighting the Warsaw Pact, which is great for us. I love that they're killing each other it's quite well. Uh, let's see. Current wars. Indian Zomi. Soviet-Japanese war. 12 million are dead from the Warsaw Pact, while 5 million... The Chinese are doing well. The Chinese are doing very, very well. So I might take out Japan. I think there's this episode, of course, and then there's going to be one more episode after this, just because it's going to take some time to get to Warsaw Pact and kill them off. Well, just because they're pretty far away, and that requires a pretty big naval invasion, which, you look at the navies, they're not that good, so I'm not worried about the navies. I'm a little bit more worried about the air force. they got plenty of manpower. We're not sure about the Soviet Pact, you know, whatever. Uh, do some more anti-partisan stuff. Keep sinking stuff, because I'm developing, as you can see, a pretty big navy. 
or what will eventually become a big, pretty big navy. Thank you. Thank you. Huzzah. Wow, look at those Mexican divisions. Not looking too good, eh? And carriers, Hawaii accepts. Hawaii has agreed to our demands. Our administration is establishing full control of Hawaii immediately. Smart choice. And we get cores on all that stuff. Great. I love Hawaii. Wait, I thought we were supposed to get cores on this. I do have a couple of green tea here as well, though. Ah, there we go. I love Hawaii. I've only been there a few times. Don't remember much about it, though. It's unfortunate. What resources are we lacking? Uh, a lot of chromium. Actually, that makes a lot of sense since I'm building a lot of ca carriers, so... Uh, let's go and do boom, 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 boom. That should be good enough for enough chromium, right? Hopefully. And they're still attacking like crazy. Our generals... How's Michael H Haggy? Haggy? Drill fighter? I'll go organization, why not? Cool. And we did fighter focus. Let's do drone focus, because we can. Anything else? Uh, no? And I would like to finish this hole as well. We need just... Oh, the light cruisers require a lot of chromium as well. That's fine. And I do have my tanks here. I'm, it's just infantry on the line. That's literally all we have. It's just infantry and some motorized, motorized infantry. And we have our tanks over here just kind of hanging out. Ready to navally invade when we need to, so... Oh, cold ARC, ACR. I love it. Let's grab some M375s and M252A8s. Love it. All or nothing armored cruiser scheme. Don't mind me. Just improving ourselves right here. Uh, we would like some of that. It's almost 2018. I'm going to wait just uh, get some better subs. Just go get some better subs. I love the subs. Submarinos for days, right? And Mexico. Oh, we actually push into Arizona a little bit. That's not good. We can't really tell how much they have. Up to 222 divisions. That's all right. Whatever. Why don't you help the attack? Even though you're fighting over a river, which sucks. It doesn't matter. You're retreating to cover the line. That's totally, totally fine. And... We're still going to win this area back anyways, hopefully. It is technically core territory, so... There you go. We killed off over 1 point... Almost 1.7 million Mexicans. Holy cow. That's a lot of dead Mexicans. Just saying. Uh, Kenneth? Anything here? Im improvisation expert? You're about to move a little bit more quickly. That's fine. Any parts of self grab? Just because you're going to need that for later. And for you... You got nothing else. And that's totally okay. Passive defense. We can only get... Almost one political power every single day, but not enough. My goodness, they're really killing themselves on the line, aren't they? Uh, another comment was, Play as a think tank in Old World Blues as a strategy for you to win against the Mojave chapter. Uh, I mean, I can look into it. I've got other nations I want to play first. I don't mind playing the think tank, but it's going to take some time for me to really figure out a good strategy to play as them. I'll put it like that. So, I'm not saying no, but I'm saying it, it'll happen eventually. Eventually. Death Charge Mortars, happy, happy, happy. Just going to grab the next cruiser carrier holes. That's fine with me. Look how weak these guys are becoming. Insanely weak. I love it. Uh, we could probably start infiltrating Mexico's defenses. Mexico City's defenses. Is that literally it? All they have is one area? That sucks. Please. Please stop trying to attack here. There you go. Good luck. Don't die too hard. We've already lost 30,000 people against over 2 million. But, hey, you know, whatever. Up to 200 divisions. Stockpile. All right, so here's a stockpile. Uh, 100,000 guns still. They got... I mean, they've been building up the entire time, which is why I sort of don't want to fight, you know, the Warsaw Pact, because they've been building up the entire time. We don't have enough intel for that. Which, actually, after this, we're going to go for probably economy or army department intel stuff. Which is fine. We need to get some Canadians, too. Someone said it... It wasn't any... It was Alaska. In Alaska, they, uh, they're led, ruled by natives or something. Well, they don't have a big army, which is good. Up to nine divisions max, led by a guy named Dan Sullivan. Which, I don't know, just that forehead and haircut remind me of Peyton Manning for some reason, but, you know, whatever. Whatever. Anything else here? Carriers, cruisers, the good stuff. Still need more chromium, though. <sighs> Always gonna need more chromium. There you go. How much does this actually give us? Plus three? It's not enough. I and mean, we do have the corporate interest here that does give us plus 35% construction speed, which I love, love, love. Passive defense, not bad. Army department time. Alright, is it possible for us to win yet? Can we actually push into Mexico? That'd be kind of nice. Could you guys actually win? Maybe. We do have air superiority. I mean, I'd be able to make sure we got plenty of planes up here too, so. And they do have quite a few guys down there. We might, we're, we're probably going to get nukes. Oh, another tank. Great. Great. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. We beat him up. That's awesome. 
Let's see. So, so I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should do old friendships or new friendships. And overall, was, there's more support for old friendships. But we still take them out and puppet these enemies. So, yeah, we'll do that. Why not? Why not? So, are you guys done attacking me like crazy? Because I would like to just snipe this area right here. But they are refilling their depleted divisions with plenty of stuff. They got they lost like 40,000 guns probably around-ish. So, well, let's see what happens. So, we, let's be smart about how we attack. How about that? Not bad, not bad. Anywhere else along the line? I mean, I really want to just cut these guys off in the middle. Hmm... I don't want to attack into mountains. Uh, this, there's not that much support around here. Drone focus? Well, let's go ahead. I'm going to do this one a little later. Just because I want to get those people under us. At least Canada under us before we do that. But still a bomber focus. Because we can. Oh, they're attacking us again. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mexico. I love Mexico. Kenneth, you got another thing for us? Guerrilla fighter is a ranger. Not bad. Burwell. Infantry expert, of course. That is what he is. They've lost over... Two and a half million Mexicans, and I do have some green tea. Not green tea, no. It's pineapple hibiscus tea, if I remember correctly. Ah, very good. Stockpile, looking not... Oh, look at those guns. Once they run out of guns, we'll be all good and dandy. Armor department, civilian economy. Well, obviously, this is civilian economy, but... Army until? Wow, they're rapidly depleting their own gun stockpile. Because once they're out, I'm going to start pushing in as hard as possible. They got up to 47 fighters... Not very much. Artillery is looking god-awful for them. Less than 10,000 things of guns. Man, that Mexican gun reliability doesn't seem to be too good now, does it? Hmm. And they're out of guns. Good, good, gloriously be good. Uh, anything else here we need about? We got 500 army XP too, so that's pretty good. Uh, any more ships? Oh, yes, please. Big old daddy. Another carrier! Wow! Uh, there you go. And there you go. There you go. There you go. Carrier time? Well, we got three task forces, each with at least one carrier in these guys. So that'll be two, one, two. Not bad. That's actually really, really good. We killed off over three million of them. So after this... Oh, yeah, Canada does not like what we're doing down south. But I can't imagine they have... They don't have a massive army. We don't have a massive army either, but it's very strong. 40 combat with armies. Uh, led by Preston Manning. I don't know who that is, but he's probably not going to live for very long. At this point, let's try a little, a little more snipey, snipey, maybe. Could we attack here, maybe, and do relatively okay? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Take these guys out and circle everyone up north, because New Mexico is not Mexican. Well, actually, there's probably a few, quite a few people of Mexican descent there, but it's it's American. It's American. We all know. And take the airbase too. That'd be very beneficial for us. Uh, over 3 million are dead, of course. And how about we just go right on in? Um, I'll leave you guys here. La Crucis? Go and hang out. That's fine. So there's 17. 17 plus 17 is usually 34. Not always, probably, but, you know, usually. Oh, I'm building a lot of... Oh, wow. Uh, cruisers? Why not? We need more chromium, too, so... Uh, on this, do we have any better radar yet? We should have yeah, at least level 2. Level 4 torpedoes. We're going to be sinking the living crud out of our enemies. I love subs, but not nearly as much as other ships. I'm very biased towards some ships. Oh, what's my favorite ship type? I don't know. Not heavy, not heavy cruisers, definitely not. I always have a particular affinity for battle cruisers, because I love pocket battle cruisers. But, eh, I don't know. We'll see. Mexico. You mean New Mexico? Thank you. Let's grab some more land out of tech. That'd be very good. Uh, losses will be slightly increasing because we're attacking. That's alright. Oh, they're all dead. Oh, they're almost all dead. Now they're all dead. Yeah, over for a million. Not bad. Good job, guys. We're gonna really pump, be pumping out a lot more. Another carrier! Holy crud! 2018 Ripper Olympics. Cool. Very good. No upgrades yet, and that's totally okay. Okay, they lost that group, and now they're still attacking. Alright. They have up to 152 divisions. We have a much better idea of what they actually have. Attacking them is going to be a probably really bad idea, but you know what? Do we have our cypher done with them yet? 
We haven't even started. Well, gosh darn it. I'm going to look at Pinky. You doing okay, Pink? Yeah, big boy? Big boy. I can't rub you right now. I'm, I'm, I'm recording. All right, let's go. Oh, they have a lot of attrition, huh? And when we try to attack, it doesn't go super well, does it? Yabink? Yeah, Yabink. Yeah, but we should have absolute overwhelming air superiority. Well, I guess not. All right, then. There we go. That helps out a little bit more. It's going to cost us quite a few, probably 100,000 casualties, but at this point, if they got no guns, like, what, 10 planes in reserve? That doesn't really help them. Yeah, they got no manpower, too. No manpower, no guns. Eventually, if you beat them up hard enough, they'll collapse. And they slowly are already. Uh, yeah, look at this. Artillery, no guns, like a 10 planes, you know, 50 planes. They actually took a piece of Texas. Oh, we got Texas, this part of Texas back, which is good. Yeah, at this point, I'm not going to be surprised if their casualties start just getting really, really bad. Can we land? Oh, we have five tanks now. Look at it. 2018 carrier hold. Not bad. Let's grab some of this, too. Ah, naval department's nice. Even more hangar spaces. Radar 2, engine 4, dual purpose. Thank you. You're out of date. Thank you. One, two, three. Not bad. One, two. And just in case, there you go. A massive carrier. I am literally making America into what America is today with all its carriers. What we, doesn't America have like 10 carriers in total or something? Let's go with old friendships. Well, let's get the political power for now. We lost probably 100,000. Yeah, roughly 100,000. We only have 85 divisions, but we're doing a pretty good job so far. Oh, they actually pushed back into California. That's not good. There, there you go. Go in. Come on. Think? Oh, what's going on down here? Did we invade? We're trying to. Okay, we invaded. Hey, look. Ah, uh, Binky. You want my chair? God dang it, Bink. There you go, have my chair. All right, Unification of Memorials Act passed by Congress. The reformed American government has recently passed a law beginning construction of a series of large memorial crosses. Each one will be placed near or each cap state capital, and one more in the national capital near the government district. Congress and corporations said that this would be the best way to commemorate the thousands of lives lost during the reunification wars, and they, these memorials will have the engraving, they had not died in vain, they died for America on them. A gold star mother from Little Rock, Arkansas, whose oldest son was killed in action during the West Coast campaign, said to a reporter, I think that my son would have been happy to see what became of America since the re reunification. He was a patriotic soldier. I can see the cross from my home and is a reminder of our struggle for liberty. A nation mourns a sacrifice. It's a terrible thing. Sacrifice oneself for liberty. Or corporate corporations. Not bad, though. Really not bad. Could be better, of course, but not bad. Don't really want to attack over a river either, so. Uh, how's this going along? Oh, look at this. Convoys. I love sinking some convoys. Alright, strike them south. Actually, can we take out Guatemala? Why would we take out Guatemala, you ask? Because we can, but we need more political power, so no. Hmm. Big sadness. Hopefully we have enough supplies down here for these big old tank boys. Could you just win there? Yeah, you probably honestly could. Well, we've lost about 110,000. That's better than what, we've, what I thought what would happen so far, but not too bad, not too bad. Obviously, we've got to take out Canada. We've got to take out... Well, how is this going? It's going all right. PRC and these guys, are they still... Oh, they're still clashing around... What is this? Mongolia? Mongolia, yep. I'd hate to be Damdini Dembrel. Oh, he's got no. Oh, mm -hmm. well, the Soviet Union's got up to. That's a lot of manpower. These guys have way more though, because it's China. They used to actually may, maybe have a bigger industrial base, but there's no guarantee. They have less divisions than the Soviet Union though. So which means we can't invade from this side because I mean technically yes we could, but fighting through this part of Siberia is one of the worst ideas ever. So I'm not doing that. Mexico, please give it up. Actually, let's do this too. And go right ahead, because then say literally nothing else. A little bit of lag, and because of auto saving, there we go. They still have quite a few planes in the air, but I don't think they can really replace them in time. So, oh well. 
Oh well. Wow, look at those casualties. Enemy plane shot down. It's not a lot of enemy planes, but at least we're not losing any for now. Interception. We can see like what year these fighter, fighters were made in. Oh, now we're losing some planes. It's fine, whatever. Yeah, so look, their numbers are just dropping. Our numbers drop a little bit, but they go back up because we have enough planes in reserve, so. It's kind of fun watching this. Usually I love watching naval battles and such, but and maybe even land battles, but just watching the enemy's airports literally get depleted is not bad. You can see how many planes are just getting shot down like crazy. I love it. All right, so what do we got over here in the sh in the C, not the she. C. Not bad. How are the generals actually doing now? Another convoy sunk, and we could do a focus. I'll do League of America. Why not? We can create our own faction. America deserves it. Yep. Oh, Mexico. Thank you. Um, do we want a loyal Mexico? I don't know. I just kind of want to straight up annex Mexico. Yeah, I'm gonna. You know, I'm teaching them a lesson. They took part of America. Well, we'll take a part of all of Mexico then. All right. So, how long would it take for us to justify against Canada? Too long. So, oh well. Well, everyone, here we're at, and it's now November first, twenty eighteen. And at this point, we're pretty much ready to go to war with uh, Canada. I've we've already got Alaska under us. We cored them. Actually, I have some rubber down there too. We're gonna lose it. Wow, there's a lot of oil. But we're gonna lose Alaska just because I don't feel like defending it. But let's go ahead and have a good old time against them Alaskans. Are they attack our lines? Yes, no, maybe so. All right, then we're gonna move in, and at the same time, use this. Actually, remember to use our cipher. Not bad. And we're still doing stuff. There, that's good. Good, good. And we got 72 naval XP. Not bad. Uh, actually, they have, they are in their own faction. The British. Oh, they're. Oh, I didn't realize the British Republic were in there. Oh. Oh, we're fighting the Allies. Oh, it's a Commonwealth of Nations. Oh crap. Oh well, that was not going to matter to me too much. I don't really care. Might as well start just fine on them. That's fine with me. Oh, you guys, let's stop training, guys. That'd be good. Uh, two more submarinos. As you can see, the Navy's doing pretty darn well. Boom, boom, boom. Well, just in case. There we go. One, two, three, four. Not bad. All right, my apologies. Ah, uh, not bad. Not bad. And then you guys come on over here and do some stuff on the Eastern Seaboard, Labrador Sea. Uh, very good. Good, good, good. And let's see how the army's actually doing. Well, it seems like we're doing okay. Maybe not great, but no, nah, we're doing okay-ish. Did I give? You, I did not give you guys orders, did I? Maybe I did. All right. Air Force Department. All right. Canada shouldn't last too long. Very nice, very nice. And, oh, some convoys. And we're putting down resistance in Mexico, too. So, just normal things. All right, looking pretty good. How many people have... Oh, it's a glitch. You can't see that. How many people have we lost in the past month? Oh, 150,000. That probably includes Mexico as well. I mean, it didn't take extremely long for us to do this, so... Well, at least when we're at war with the British Republic, we take out Ireland. You know, we could probably naval invade, hop to the Danish Socialist Republic. All right, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh, let's see, not bad. Hopefully, capitulate these guys. God, I wish we could see how close we are. We got some streamlined line. We're actually doing some naval battles down there. Let's grab some of this. A bit of rubber. And what's going on with the? Oh, they're dead. Not bad. We lost one plane. Lost another plane. You know, so we lost a few more destroyers, screens, good stuff like that. Uh, I really wish we could see how far we're, we are with them. Anything else? Any more convoys? Yes. Oh, boy. Nothing but British con Oh, boy. I really want to see how far we are with this stuff as well. Um, convoys sunk, of course. Pretty normal. Can they pierce us? No. Uh, they're, 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 no they're not going to send a task force to help escort these guys. They're going to be all screwed. Oh, look. Is that... Oh, there goes Canada. Great. Let's wrap up these Canadian boys. And Alaska wasn't even touched. Now that's the way we like it. Don't touch my Alaska. Ooh, woo. All right. Well, if that's the case, we got to kill these guys off here too. Get rid of these gosh darn Brits. 
Brits don't belong on American soil. And Halifax, cool. Trucking on in. Now take out those guys. Oh, there actually is a land connection. I love that. I love that there is a land connection. Halifax will be ours, and thank you. Head on in, and you know what? I'll see you when we invade Ireland. Well, everyone, it looks like we've invaded Ireland already, and we've invaded the British Republic. So, I jumped from, well, through Canada, jumped up through Newfoundland, through Greenland, to Iceland, to the rock that is known as Ireland, and my gosh, I lost quite a few little submarinos, and just ships in general. We lost 55, 52 in the current year. I lost a lot of subs, and a few cruisers, and a few convoys, and we actually lost a few motorized divisions, but that's a sacrifice, and I... I and save the game, reloaded, and we've lost about more than a quarter million men. But these guys, they lost 2.23 million, so that's not bad. About a British soldiers, a million British soldiers have died, and actually we haven't taken a port yet. If you look at this, I mean, I've landed without a port, which is not a good idea. I'm um, invading part of Northern England and Scotland, of course. As long as one group that wins, that's all I really care about. Oh, we got Liverpool. That's good, 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 good. We've actually linked up here. That's actually really good. Doomfreeze, if that's how you pronounce it, I don't know. I'm not. I don't think I'm Scottish. Maybe I am? I don't know. I gotta go back into the old Mr. Mocha Lover archives. But we'll see what happens. Regardless. Uh, yeah, as we've I've lost quite a few people here too, so. I've lost probably at least maybe five divisions? I don't know. Something like that. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. And then all of you guys do this. Just don't lose Liverpool. For the love of God, do not lose Liverpool. And you can see the top, we do have some nukes as well, so. Cool. All right. Go, go, go. Please do not abandon Liverpool, though. For the love of God, please do not abandon Liverpool. And they still have a navy, which really, really sucks. But I've been building up air bases in Ireland. So, honestly, I should probably put some more planes in the water. Cav. I did not put any naval cav in here. Big mistake. Alright, let's see what happens in this battle. We'll probably lose a few subs, maybe. I want to sink that god-dying navy. They're not that good, but just when you have enemy fighters and naval bombers and such. Oh, our planes are coming in now. We've got our carriers here, too. Sink those pieces of garbage. Sink, 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 sink. Go, go, go. Seven ships lost. The enemy ships, I should say. Beautiful. We lost, like, 31 planes, but planes are replaceable. Hey, you won't let me invade? What? How dare you? Oh, what's going on over here? Oh, we'll sunk some more task forces. Nice. Very good. So they do have, cap they do have capital ships, but they're just capital ships that I really don't care about. Alright, so we're all over here, everyone. We've got two ports. We're going to burn London to the ground. Ah, oh, yeah. Liberal Democrats. Cent centrists. There's a lot of moderate socialists here. A few liberals and some new Democrats and a few national conservatives, but... We're going to have to die now. Oh, what else did we lose? Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad, and... More task forces destroyed. Oh, yeah, and we're making a massive navy. As you can see on the... As you probably saw on screen. Massive amount of ships are being made. Oh, come on. They have the student leader... Why? I'm not, I'm not invading South Africa. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to invade them. I, I will use Khan's commands after this. I'm not interested in... Invading South Africa, going through all of Africa. I'm o I only care about taking out these guys, so I will use Consul Commands. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, but yeah, that's so stupid. Yeah, no, South Africa, you're not gonna become a major power. I'm sorry, but that's just not gonna happen here, so. I refuse to fight down into South Africa. I've been playing for like a few hours off screen, anyways. I'm not gonna waste time and do that. Oh, and also, uh, kill these guys off, please. Don't let them in. I'll start on these enemy divisions. Oh, well, they're probably 20 combat width, it looks like. So not bad for them, but not great. Keep killing them. Escort patrols. Let's grab some convoy ra sailing. Not railing. We're not ra railing convoys. Well, maybe we are, actually. Uh, as you can see, I've been working on the Navy quite a bit more as well, so. Just don't get encircled. Please finish these guys up, up here, too. And we can see losses, of course. 7,000. I'm not... I, that's so stupid. That is beyond stupid. I'm sorry, but South Africa never is and probably will never be, never was, never is, or will ever be a major, you know, what we consider a power just as strong as, you know, Union of Britain or America or Germany. It just, 
They just can't be able to do that. They just can't. They're just not strong enough. Maybe someday, but I doubt it. I really doubt it. Especially in Red World. Because before then, no one else is considered a major power. I'm Ghana. Come on. Zimbabwe? Cyprus? Nigeria? Sri Lanka? Mm -mm. I, I'd assume Canada would be a great power before South Africa. Kenneth McKinsey Jr., not bad. But I'm, I'm, hold on, let's take a look here at the, the situation between China and. Not, this, not these guys. Or the Hungarian Japanese War, okay. War oh my goodness! That's already 2020, what a great year. But Warsaw Pact, 38 million have died. The Soviet Union has lost 22 million people. 5 million from the Germans. Holy cow, China's doing really well. Holy bad words. Nice, we're done with that. Great. Grab some of this. Probably need some more chromium. Always need more chromium for our ships. I'm running out of places to build stuff, though. Ah, Alaska. Thank you, Alaska. Ah, Mexico. More ships. More ships. Kill every single one of these gosh darn pieces of garbage. Cut them off. No supplies. Um, I guess we can maybe get some more subbies. That's fine with me. London will fall. What London will absolutely fall. So, not bad, but how how's the French state doing? Because we will have to invade their Jean Luc Mélenchon. Quite a fusion, a lot of manpower, of course. I can't imagine the Soviet Union. They have so many more bodies. There must be an extensive conscription under Vladimir Vladimir Putin. All right, London has fallen, and I'm surprised these guys haven't given up yet. I'm actually extremely surprised since we've taken out pretty much everything except. Well, this area. Ben K, huh? Kill everything around here in the water. They want to live? Well, then they shall perish. Ah, there they go. But that's pretty much going to end, end this for this episode. I've been playing this for too long. And having South Africa become a major power... I mean, that's so dumb. That is incredibly stupid. But regardless, I'm going to straight up just annex them off screen. I'm going to annex all these guys just because I'm not going to deal with this type of BS where I have to invade South Africa. Who has time for that? Regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we will invade the continent. And have a good time. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.